We're gonna be doing something today that I really don't even know if it's possible anymore. We're gonna be taking Patrick Corbin and turning him back into a good pitcher. To start out in 2023, Patrick Corbin has a 5.74 ERA at a six games pitch. The dude is down bad. 31 innings, only 21 strikeouts, and a 1.66 on the whip. But that is not the type of pitcher that Patrick Corbin used to be when he signed that massive deal that brought him to the Nationals. In 2018, the guy looked like a Cy Young candidate. Out of 200 innings, had 246 strikeouts, had a 3.15. ERA with a 1.05 on the whip. Then in 2019, won a World Series with the Nationals. 202 innings pitched, 238 strikeouts with a 3.25 on the ERA with still a pretty solid whip. But my God, ever since 2020, my dude has been on a steady decline of just getting worse and worse and worse. And this year, it's looking like it's going to continue. That's why I'm here. And that's also why the pitching upgrade wheel is here. On this wheel, we got plus 10s and plus 20s to every single important pitching stat on LB The Show. We also have some other stuff like start using sticky stuff because my god does the guy need it adding 10 velo to every single pitch that patrick corbin has in the game also every single time that he has a stat that is better than his previous year we're gonna go ahead and give him an upgrade spin let's see if i could be a miracle worker today and let's see if i can make patrick corbin good at baseball again there's a lot riding on this year for patrick corbin let's see how our boy can do at the trend line right now, we are a dumpster fire. 30 and 76. Dude, how is this a real team? 33 games back in the NL East. I'm so done. Corbin, how you doing though? Fell back to the fourth starter. That's not great. How are we going to be looking? This entire pitching staff is doing great so far. So the bar is set super high, Patrick. Let's see how we doing. Patty, still a five ERA, but honestly, probably the best on this team, which honestly just shows how down bad we are. Hey, we already broke our previous record though. We got seven wins on the year compared to six all of last year this dude lost 19 games can you imagine the pain for this dude oh my gosh let's get the wheel spin going though and please give me something nice there we are a nice little plus 20 on the walks per nine one of the most important stats from the show too so this is nice going now from a 74 on the walks per nine to a 94 that's a big upgrade as we are now the top player on the nationals again we only had to get to an 83 to take over the nationals oh my god now i see how we won 30 games it's honestly an all-out race to who's gonna suck the most the A's or the Nationals? It's actually stupid. We finished off 40... Nope. No. 48 W's on the year. That's what we're going to do. Are you kidding me? They just put in one of the worst seasons in baseball history. So, Patrick, you got to be the shining star of this team. How are we feeling? There we go. Who knew? 93 walks per hour would actually be insanely nice. We set records in losses. We set records in the innings pitch, the hits, the runs, the ERA. Oh, my goodness. We also got our first shutout this year since 2019. And our first time having a war of over one since 2019. That is crazy. This year, we finished off with eight up upgrades honestly that's a little too many for one single season i'm gonna be honest i feel confident with a max of five because eight is way too much so let's go and get it started spin one let's see what we can do come on baby there we go start using some sticky stuff that for real is gonna help so much the arm's feeling a little bit better now going up to 94 84 and 94 again back to it spin two come on give me another plus 20 plus 10 to hits per nine i'm down spin three i need another plus 20 come on dude come on oh my gosh we're gonna max out we finally are gonna get our first 99 on patrick corbin since honestly probably ever 99 walks per nine the rest is just gonna go into home runs per nine but still we are now in 87 overall with them spin four and we still got one more after this are you serious what do we got baby oh my gosh we're gonna be using even more looks like i gotta get my boy a year supply of spider attack and sunscreen horizon the dude's gonna be the sticky finger bandits out there bringing us up now to 95 and 96 and we still have a spin left i think you guys can see now why eight would have been way too much as we get plus 20 on stamina that's stupid that's pretty dumb i'm pretty sad that we end on a dud like that but oh my god patrick corbin has broken 90 overall again let's see what the nationals can do this offseason and hopefully give patrick corbin a good final year because if you guys don't know he's going to be earning 25.1 mil this year and after that he is back to free agency and i highly doubt after all the trauma ptsd and everything that patrick corbin has given the nationals they're not going to sign him back that would just make the most sense to me so let's see what happens all right the big reveal patrick corbin's back to being the ace i like that but we're still 30th in rank did we not get a single upgrade this year please oh my god we got lucas giolito but besides that that's it okay all right we still want to suck for patrick corbin's last year that's good to know let's see how we do let's see if we can actually get under a four year right this year 
The Nationals this year got 12 more wins, but still finished off with over 100 losses. That's how poverty we've been the past two, three seasons at this point. Corbin, give me some good news, though. He's down to an 89, but again, he's 34 years old, so it kind of makes sense. Lucas Giolito had a pretty solid year. Patrick Corbin, though, a little bit of a downgrade. God dang it. Gave up way more hits, way more runs, and honestly, just a lot of garbage. I hate to see it. We did set a couple records, though, which I am very happy about. We set a record on the war numbers. We set a record on the FIP. Had way more strikes strikeouts, less walks, and a better amount of innings. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not that mad at it either. Let's see what type of contract the guy earned, though, because I can't imagine it's going to be for 20 plus million again. You can kiss that goodbye. Also, after his 2024 year, we have six upgrade wheel spins. And with him getting older and older and coach doing what the heck he's going to do, I'm going to give him all those six spins because he is going to need it. Spin number one, what are we about to do here? There we go. Got a potential upgrade. Going up to an eighth potential now. Spin two, I need another one of those plus 20s as we get plus 10 on the break. I'm down for that. Spin three, I need another plus 20. There we are. Plus 20 to the hits for nine. That should definitely make him way less poverty this year. Going from a 69 to an 89 on the hits for nine, bringing us up to a 94 overall. Hey, we still got more spins to go, Patrick. Let's see what we get. Now we get plus 10 on the stamina. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Two more spins. And with these two spins, we got the potential to get him up to a 99. All we need is Ks for nine and home runs for nine. Please let me get those somehow. Come on, wheel. There we go. The MLB guys want to see Patrick succeed, which is so weird to see. Normally, the wheel wants to go out and kill everybody, but one more. If I get home runs per nine right here, I will walk out of the room, and we get hits per nine. We were so close to it, though. Plus, down on the hits brings us up to a 99 again, and we are officially a 99 overall with Patrick Corbin. We did it, guys. Let's go. Now, it doesn't mean that he's going to be really any good, but we've given him the best possible opportunity. Let's see where the heck he's going to end up and what team he's going to be on. Free agency now. Oh, my God. Juan Soto Shane Bieber, Patrick Corbin. One of these dudes is not like the others. I cannot believe that he's back up to a 99 at 35 years old. Passing Walker, Bueller, Max Fried, Brandon Woodruff, Tyler Glass. Now all these great pitchers. That's just a fat L on your guys' part. Let's see where the heck the dude actually ends up. There's no way he gets good money. There's no way. And guys, it only makes sense. We're going to the retirement home. Steve Cohen, $10 million for one year. At least the AI in this game is not that dumb. Of course, we go to the Mets though. Literally the pitching retirement home. And this just looks so wrong. Patrick Corbin, Kodai Senga, Anthony David, and Griffin Canning. I love that he went to a division rival too. Let's see how this here goes. Let's go Mets. Straight in line and the Mets have a winning record. Thank goodness. This dude Patrick Corbin hasn't sniffed a winning record in years. He goes to the Mets and he's finally at the top of the NL East. How's our boy doing though? Already down to 95 because this game's just so great. Patrick, show me something nice. There we are. He's back, baby. 150 innings pitched, 145 strikeouts, and a ERA below three three and a whip below one. Oh my God. It's so beautiful to see. Mets, let's see how the heck you finish off. And Patrick, let's hope that you can get quite a few upgrades because God dang, you're going to need them. The Nationals did terrible. What a surprise. But the Mets finished off 86 and 76. Is that good enough though to make it to the postseason or did the Mets met? Please. <laughs> Oh, the Mets met. How do we keep doing this? We're a game freaking off. Um, What a team the Mets are. Corbin, though, how'd you do? I got to take a look. Oh, baby. I know that Shohei Otani is also in the NL now. The guy, of course, signed a contract with the Dodgers. But if we didn't beat him, I'm going to be a little upset. So please, awards, give it to me. Juan Soto for the MVP. Cy Young, no. Shohei completely stole it, even though Patrick Corbin should have gotten it. You back there. I'm going to feed you to the dog, bro. 14 and 8. Had an ERA of 2.9 and 230. 31 strikeouts. Still got beat out just because Shohei had 21 wins. Even though wins are basically meaningless. Hey, we got a lot of upgrades though coming this year. Guys, I just calculated everything and going through all of this is crazy. The guy had five complete games and four shutouts this year. Before this year, he was coming in with four shutouts. He just did double that in one season. And we have 15 spins on this wheel. I'm just going to go ahead and save your guys' time. I'm just going to max him out completely because that's basically what would happen. And there we go, Patrick Corbin. This dude might be the only 35, 36 year old pitcher that is going up in velocity. It's so insane. But Patrick, congratulations. You earned it. And you're going to be going back into free agency, by the way. Where the heck are we going to be going next? And please let it be a team that's actually in the playoff race or at least the hunt. Don't send me to Oakland or one of those garbage teams, please. I beg you, Patrick, do not do that. And I never got a notification 
waiting for Patrick Corbin. Where the heck did he go? The only way that we don't get notifications is if they go back to the team that they were already on. And there we go. He went back to Steve Cohen. I got to see the contract. I need to see it. Oh my God. He got 20 mil. Now he's worth it for sure. But it's still so weird seeing Patrick Corbin back up at 20 mil. It's so insane. Opening day. How you doing? Four to two. We take that W. The Mets had an ace this year as the Nationals are back down in poverty. Don't tell me that the Mets are going to met for two years in a row as we do. How? 84 and 78 and we finish off one game back from the stupid wild card. I'm taking a walk. That is so bad. Also, I feel like something like this is needed, by the way. So there we go. Two years of straight heartbreak in a row. Patrick, please tell me that you at least got a Cy Young at 37 years old, basically. Come on. Shohei came in second for the batting. I am not happy about that. Cy Young didn't even come to the top three. Uh-oh. Patrick, how'd you do then? What happened? And he gave up a four on the earned run. Still a pretty solid year, though, for him. Got basically minus 15 across the board, but still pretty solid. And the problem is we had such a good year last year that I don't even know if he got an upgrade. Nothing for wins, nothing for losses, nothing for the innings pitch, nothing for hits. Oh my God, no, no. We do get one with home runs, thank goodness. And still no for anything. Oh wait, hold on, strikeouts. That means we got two and make that three with the home runs per nine being below a one. Still though, three compared to 15 last year. Let's go, Patty, what do we got? Plus 20 on clutch. That should help to do with the ERA a little bit. Next spin, plus 10 on the hits per nine. I like that quite a bit as well. And last spin, what do we got? Please just give me something decent. And that's another plus 10 on the hits per nine. Okay. We were finally able to max out the hits again and the pitching clutch. Besides that though, everything is still looking pretty rough as we're still getting minus 15s, minus 17s. It's all bad. That's two straight years with the Mets of missing the postseason by one game. Let's go to a team that's not cursed, please. Okay. And still, it's so dumb to see it, but Patrick's the top guy in free agency. Where the heck are you going to be going, dude? And please don't tell me you're running it back with the stupid Mets. And there we go. Finally, he left the Mets for Seattle. Giving us 23.3 million for one year, Patrick Corbin. And he's 37 years old now. The only problem is I have not seen Seattle really have any luck. And I also have not seen them in the postseason just yet. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Seattle, what we looking like? And wow, we're going to a powerhouse. Okay, I guess I'm just blind. Let's go, boys. And Seattle, I'm expecting a big year as we finish below 500. How does this keep happening? Oh my God, I don't even see Patrick Corbin. Where'd you go, dude? Oh my God, he's in the bullpen. He's 84 overall. You were a 99 to start the year. This game's undefeated. Patrick, how'd you do? Four and 14 again. I've never in my life seen a 99 overall drop. Well, actually, I have seen him drop down this far in the overall, but still, I've never seen a 99 overall go four and 14 from the pitching side. I don't even think we got a single upgrade this year. Did we at least get... Nope, we did not get one single upgrade. Oh my God. And we didn't even make it to the postseason to make things worse. I really hope the guy gets a team. I just don't exactly know where it's going to be. Back in the regular season of 2028, I cannot believe he's still playing. But Corbin, where did you sign your next contract? Let's take a look. Please tell me, one, it's with a team, and two, it's with somebody decent. Patrick Corbin with the Blue Jays now. Okay. I really don't hate that at all. Let's see how Toronto does. The trend line right here, we're 54 and 52. Still not great. Standings. The Blue Jays are in third, and they're in the wild card spot. So, Patrick, how are we doing? I need us to make it to the postseason for once. I need to see it in the video, and he's a 72 over. Overall. Minus 10s, minus 11s. This is so bad. I got to give the guy at least one pity upgrade. Just because I feel for the guy. The game is literally ruining him. What we're going to be getting, plus 20 on the case per nine. Let's hope that can help a little bit. Oh man, 61 to an 81. He goes up to a 77. That's about just as good as what we started with. But let's see how we do. Toronto, how did we do? 85 and 77. And I see that we made it finally to the postseason. The thing is, is Patrick actually going to be on the team? I don't really know. Let's see. Patrick, where are you? There we go. He's the long reliever at a 72 overall. He has 21 control left. Oh, God. 73 walks in 150 innings. Oh, God. Blue Jays, how are we going to do? Josiah Gray lost. Nate Pearson. There we go. Come on, baby. Versus Texas. And we got sent home. Oh, my gosh. And just like that, the run for Patrick Corbin has come to a close. And first up, what an insane career this has been. He had the perfect mix of being somewhat of a decent pitcher into a very, very good pitcher, into a bad pitcher, back up to a dominant pitcher, into an even worse pitcher, and then back into a little bit of dominance to end his career. I cannot believe Patrick Corbin actually accomplished this, but we did it. We made Patrick Corbin good again for at least a little bit. Let me know who you guys want to see next in the series, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.